Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me for another video. So if you saw the thumbnail, then you already know what this video is about to be about. So as I promised you last week, I was gonna come on and show you what I did to the furniture here, meaning this couch in Antonio's man cave. So yes, you guys saw it. You saw the thumbnail. I painted this couch. So this is a great money saving tip. If you have any type of leather or vinyl furniture and it needs to be spruced up and you want to save it, maybe it just looks a little worn, you can definitely paint it. All right, so just a little bit about our experience here. So the reason I even tried this is because right now furniture is backed up. We went to a couple of furniture stores looking for a cognac color couch like this. I did my mood board and I knew exactly what I wanted the space to look like in here. Um, but when we went to the furniture stores, they were telling us like three to six months on delivery. All the stores right now are backed up and I'm like, that is just not going to work. So I went to a local secondhand store here in Jacksonville. If you're here in the area, then check out Kelly's Furniture on Arlington Road. He actually has really nice stuff. He gets his things from estate sales and all those different things. So we found this leather sectional and y'all, it was pretty much brand new. Like it's still plastic on the back when we got it. Um, but the problem was it was white and I knew that white was not gonna work. I really wanted this space to feel masculine. Um, so I knew that I wanted the rust or cognac color. Uh, so I found this product called Rub and Restore. I actually saw some videos here on YouTube and then I went to the website and read all about it. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to try it. Now, let me tell y'all, I was not brave about it at all. I was actually freaking out. I could not believe that I was about to paint a whole couch. Mind you, like a whole new looking couch like the couch looked pretty much brand new and i'm like oh my god if this does not turn out right i do not believe i'm about to mess up like this nice white leather couch i could not believe it but i just had to go for it because i knew the look that i wanted to go for in here and i did it and it turned out fabulous so i am going to show you guys some clips of when i painted it and then i'll be right back here to give you guys some tips so the first thing that I did was take a clean white rag and just a bottle of regular rubbing alcohol and I used this to clean the couch. I cleaned every crack and crevice and surface to make sure to get off any grime if there was any so that the stain would go on properly. So to apply the stain, all I used was a regular kitchen sponge, nothing fancy at all. Uh, I just put the, the stain right onto the sponge and then rubbed it onto the couch. Uh, later on in the process, I also just started to put the stain directly onto the couch and then rub it in as well. Either way, it works.
So as you can see here, um, once I got the coats on and I was happy with the color, I really wanted to get into those small little creases and cracks where uh, the threading was. So I decided to use a paintbrush and this worked out perfectly. give y'all is that when I started to use the stain uh, I first started by trying to do long even strokes um, but once that first uh, coat dried I noticed that it was leaving streaks and I did not want to I didn't want it to look streaky um, I don't know if it would have stayed like that but I'm like let me try something different so the next time around I just um, I did a circular motion so I, I rubbed it in instead of acting like I was painting it, I kind of rubbed it and it really seemed to work a lot better. So it seemed like it covered more of the area and it was almost seamless. Like you, you know, you couldn't even tell that, that it had been uh, painted on. So just like when you're using a paintbrush, if you paint a certain way, you will see the brush strokes. Well, the rubbing just rubbed it right into the fabric and it looked great. So that is my first tip rub don't stroke <laughs> tip number two if you have a uh, reclining sofa like I do each one of these reclines um, I suggest that you recline your couch so put it in its most outward recline position use the stain that way so the reason I say this is because in the folds where you have folds in the couch um, if it's folded and you use the stain, of course, it's not going to dry properly because uh, the fabric is touching and it's just going to cause it to um, peel off or not peel, but the, it's not going to stick because you have fabric touching. Y'all get it right. Um, so when you put it in its most uh, outward position where you can get to everything better, uh, recline it do your stain that way one or two coats whatever and then put it in its upright position and then do your other coats so that way you can make sure that you get all the crease and crevices i will say that you are not going to be able to get every single crease and crevice i mean you just can't unless you got a way to pull your sofa apart but like you know inside the uh, arms like between the arm let me show y'all so here's the side of the couch here so down up in here y'all see that so down up in here so y'all see I went down as far as I can uh, as far as I could with the stain but I can't like hold this open until it dries so basically um, when I stained it and then I had to close it up and the fabric here was meeting of course it's touching so it was not able to dry fully so if you are a stickler like that and you want every single thing to be painted this is not for you but if you're cool with you know hey the outside looks great the parts that you see looks phenomenal you won't even know that this couch was a different color unless you open it up then this product is for you it's great so tip number three is prepare for some cracking if 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 you have a newer sofa so let me tell y'all what i mean um like i said this sectional was pretty much new it was actually um a longer sectional than this it went all the way around but we only decided to use th the three pieces so whomever we purchased it from uh this end piece and the other end piece you can tell that that's pretty much where they sat all the time. The, the, um, the fabric had been loosened up, but this middle piece right here, it's like they never sat on it. Like it was brand spanking new. Like they just never sat on this seat at all. So the fabric was still extremely, really tight. 
So when I put the stain on the two outer pieces, because it was already broken in, everything dried perfectly fine. When I put the stain on the middle piece, it dried fine, no problem. But then the next day when we came and sat down, I guess because the, um, the fabric was so tight and not broken in, it started to make little cracks in it. And I kept those cracks so I can show you guys. Um, but the plan is we're gonna sit in it and we're gonna loosen it up. And then once it's loosened up, I'll come back with more stain and stain it again. And then it'll be fine just like the other seats. So let me show you. Okay, cool. Y'all can see it good here. So see here, so this is the middle seat. And it is, like I said, it is very tight. So here, these little white lines and back here, but it did not do that anywhere else. On that seat or this seat that I'm in, did not do it at all. So, and like I said, I only think it did that because this seat had not been broken in at all. The seat, the um, the fabric was really, really tight. So when we sat in, in it, it just started to do some cracking. But like I said, all we're gonna do, we said we're probably gonna sit in it for like a month or so, just loosen it up. And then I'm gonna use more stain and fill it all in. But overall, I am extremely happy with this. Um, I, <laughs> I, I'm gonna be looking for like other leather furniture just to paint, like at least now that I know that this is an option. I will make sure to leave a link in the description box for the Rub and Restore product. They have an array of colors you can choose from. Um, trying to think anything else. Y'all, honestly, other than that, it was so simple. It was really just put on there and rub it in and that was it and it did dry pretty fast um because by the time I got done with the first coat I could come right back and start the second coat to do this couch I did about four I did about four or five coats and I got the 70 no I got 70 I got the uh 16 ounce bottle and I still have I probably still have just a little under half of the bottle left. So it really does go a long way. So this is all I did. I'm fine with it. We're chilling. Antonio loves it. Everybody loves it. And actually everybody that saw the couch was like, wow, it looks like that couch came like that. So unless you digging in my creases and crevices, y'all would not even know that this was a whole white couch. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this helps anyone out there that may have been looking for ways to save money on furniture or save your old furniture or just give you some ideas. So if you got a piece sitting around and you don't want to buy a whole nother piece, you can definitely restore it with this product. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you and I will see you on the next video. Thank <laughs> you.